put these balls in this bucket. Whew. I wonder if you could build a machine to put balls in a bucket. Mama's having a waddler. Great idea, Ovahita. Let's find out. Yeah, yeah. Want to know what it's all about? Ask a question and let's find out. Hey, Liberty Science Center. Can I build a machine to move a ball? Let's find out. What we probably want to do, Mary, is combine these simple machines to make a more compound machine, a whole bunch of machines working together. Yes, we'll put all the machines together and make one big machine. And we'll get that ball into our bucket. Let's first start off with this piece here. What does this look like to you guys? A seesaw. A seesaw. Seesaw, yeah. A seesaw is an example of a simple machine. How is it a simple machine? What kind of simple machine is it? It's a lever. It's a lever? Yeah, it's actually something called a lever. We can use a seesaw to lift things. What about this piece here? A uh, slide. Like a slide. Maybe it can act like a ramp. Will the ball slide on that? Let's try it. <gasps> it All worked! Right. What about that thing by Chris? What Chris, what is that in front of you? What is that? Uh, like a drum that like, if you like drop a ball on it, it can like bounce. <laughs> it totally bounces, Samantha! We'll be back to design our machine. But right now, check this out!
We're going to design a machine that takes a ball from here all the way to here. <laughs> Let's design. So we have all our materials here. I even have some tape here for you. And what you guys are going to do is start putting these things together so we can get that ball into that bucket. Let's start experimenting. Go ahead and try it. I think we should connect the these. Why would you do that? Because uh, if we connect them, the ball will go straight through like a flag. Like, OK. Yeah. Think that'll work? Yeah, I think if I will be, like, put it back a little okay. so it doesn't go like too fast and like roll off. We're going to keep designing our machine, and we'll be back to test it out. But right now, what's this? Hello there, Kermit the Frog here, and today I'm going to demonstrate my new invention, the What Happens Next machine. Now the What Happens Next machine, its purpose is to turn on my radio. <clears throat> I will show you. Over here is my radio. This stuff here is not my radio, it's part of the machine, but right here is the radio, you see? Now, I'm going to turn on this radio using the principle of what happens next, okay? Now, I will next demonstrate how this machine is going to go about doing its job. Note this rope. See this rope right here? This rope goes up into the air and across there and down to that sandbag. See the sandbag? Okay. Now, first of all, I'm going to cut this rope. Now, when I cut the rope, what happens next is that the sandbag is going to fall down and land on this end of the seesaw. See that? Okay, what happens next is this end of the seesaw goes down, which means that this end of the seesaw over here goes up. Okay? So what happens next is this rope right here, which is tied to the lid of this box, is going to make the box open. Okay? So what will happen next is this balloon, which is inside the box, see the balloon? This balloon is going to go up into the air. And you will note that the balloon is tied to the switch of the radio. So when the balloon goes up into the air, it's going to turn on the radio. See that? OK. Now, I see, it used to be. It used to be that I used to have to walk all the way over there to turn my radio on. I did indeed. It would tire out my feet. It would waste time. But not anymore, thanks to the magic of what happens next. And now, for the first time anywhere, the Kermit What Happens Next machine. First of all, I'm going to cut the rope which is going to drop the sandbag. And here we go, I cut the rope. And, and what happens next is the sandbag is pretty, uh, well, uh, I, guess there's, I guess there's some sort of a tangle or something up there. So, uh, well, I guess what happens next when you got a tangled rope is, is nothing. So uh, we'll just skip the, uh, the sandbag portion of my invention and get right on with the seesaw portion. Now I'm going to give the seesaw here a push. Mm. Uh. Oh, I guess. Mm. Well, well, the seesaw seems to be stuck here. So uh, what happens next is that we ignore the stuck seesaw and we'll move right over here to the box. And what do you bet the lid won't open? Let's see. OK, and now. We raise the lid of the box. Hey, there you go. And what happens next is a balloon is going to float up into the air, and it's going to turn on the switch of the radio. Uh, come on, balloon. Hey, balloon. I'll give it a couple of kicks. Hey, listen. Listen, you balloon. I've had enough trouble today. You float up in that air right now, or I won't be responsible for what happens next. There you have it, a masterful invention when I get it all working. A chain of what happens next is, which will enable me to turn on my radio from all the way over, from all the way over here. And I don't have to worry now about where I am. I don't have to worry about where my radio is ever again, because I know that what happens next is, is, is what happens next is that I have to get another radio. <laughs>
are you one of the people in our neighborhood? I am. No, oh. what's your name? Joseph. Oh, Joseph, well, what do you do in the neighborhood? I'm a kinetic artist. A kinetic artist? What's a kinetic artist? It's someone that makes art that moves. <gasps> art that moves? How can art move, Joseph? I'll show you. Let's see. <gasps> wow, did you see that? <gasps> oh, Joseph, do you think you could show us more about kinetic art? I sure can. How did you become a kinetic artist? Well, I've been making machines like this since I was six years old. Really? I use everyday objects. For example, a soup spoon is not just a soup spoon. It's not? It also makes a great track for a ball. Here's a bottle. A bottle isn't just a bottle, it also rolls. And then you gotta think about how to connect them with movement. Movement, all oh, right, so, kinetic movement. Watch this. Let's see. Oh, so that made the bottle roll. What's your favorite kind of kinetic art? I love making Rube Goldberg machines. What's a Rube Goldberg machine? It's a machine that performs a simple task yeah. in a very complicated way. You think maybe you could build one of those today? I sure can. Oh, what could you build? What kind of machine can you build? Well, we could do a simple task like Watering a plant? Yes, we'll make a plant watering machine! We're gonna see Joseph's plant watering machine in action! Ready, Joseph? Ready. Start the machine! Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's almost time for Elmo, but right now we finished our machine. The ball is going to go through that tube, down the ramp, into the lever, through the aluminum foil, down to the drum and into the bucket. All right, here we go. Let's test our machine. Put the ball in, Samantha. Booyah! Great design, you guys. Our machine worked, and just in time. Ooh, 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 what school is this? Oh, what are we gonna learn today? We're gonna learn to dance flamenco. Oh boy! We're gonna dance flamenco! 